in today's video we're going to be talking about the triangles of the neck now this is usually one of the main topics when discussing the anatomy of the neck and having knowledge of where these triangles are and what they contain is useful knowledge to have especially in practice because you tend to minimize surgical injuries and avoid errors when dissecting especially when you know the whereabouts of these triangles and what is inside them. So I'm going to keep this video very brief and to the point. Here is a diagram showing you the anatomy of the neck. Just so you get a few landmarks already in your head, here we have the clavicle and here is the trapezius muscle. Another muscle here which is positioned diagonally is the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which you can see here. Now I've pointed this out, you may already be able to distinguish two triangles already. One is here and the other is here. We can name them the anterior triangle and the posterior triangle. So the sternocleidomastoid muscle divides the neck into two triangles, the anterior and posterior triangles of the neck. Let's look at what's within the anterior triangle first because it contains another four triangles. Here we have the hyoid bone and attached onto the hyoid bone are two muscles, the anterior belly of the digastric muscle and the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. Here is the first triangle already formed, it's called the digastric triangle, also known as the submandibular triangle. So that's the first triangle within the anterior triangle of the neck. Now attached onto the hyoid bone is also the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle, the inferior belly you can see here, and that's more in the posterior triangle of the neck. We're going to talk about the superior belly first, because it relates to the anterior triangle. So the hyoid bone has this muscular attachment, the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle. Now that I've pointed out this muscle, you might be able to see some more triangles formed. Here is the submental triangle. If you look here, there is another triangle called the carotid triangle and then another triangle here called the muscular triangle. So within the anterior triangle of the neck, we can see another four triangles. In the posterior triangle of the neck, we can see another two triangles. We mentioned the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle in the anterior triangle, but the inferior belly of the omohyoid muscle extends into the posterior triangle here and it divides the posterior triangle into a further two triangles. We have the occipital triangle and the subclavian triangle here. The subclavian triangle is also known as the supraclavicular triangle. So that's all for this short video. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Leave a like if you found this video useful as it really helps the channel to grow and helps more people to find the video and channel. Uh, leave a comment if you're struggling with a topic and you'd like me to make a video on it and make sure you take a shot for every time I've said the word triangle in this video. Thanks for watching.